Hello everyone, Lek here and welcome to Lek Plays Batman The Telltale Series. I've heard very good things about this game so I'm really looking forward to play it. I really like Batman as a character and very good things can be done and have been done with it. So I'm really curious to see how Telltale will treat this monumental character. So let's go right in. p.m. Hey, what are you? Okay, we're off to a good start. Show to bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Right. Oh, Christ. Move in. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Here we go. That's an entrance. He is huge. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. Wow. Nice gush. Shit! Where the hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. I really like the art style of the Telltale games. Really. What's that? Fun. <laughs> Back, circle up. <laughs> what the hell is this? 
thing is mm. wow here's the bat I know you're trying to create a myth but be careful you don't turn into a monster Sometimes you need a monster. Yeah. Come on! Come on! Come on! There we go. This game is really good. I like it. Got everything. Yes. Did I get it? Teach you to knock. Hello, kitty. Behind you, big boy. <laughs> wow, okay. Payday. What the? <laughs> oh, come on, Selena. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> You are. You're under arrest. Yeah, right. If you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. No one else will. I'm the only one who gets the job done. Sounds lonely. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's hmm. put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. There we go. She is quick. I'll give it that. Ah, ah. No! Fudge! Okay. Good. 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 Shifty. Okay. Come on, lady. Ouch. Really a proof of punching ladies, but uh, no fudge, missed it. There we go. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. What the? Ah! Go! 
Ha <laughs> Ah, Gordon. Now? Jesus. Got him. Wait, wait, wait. Do not shoot. Go to all that trouble for this. <laughs> Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. What the actual fuck? Damn it! I said don't shoot me. No, wait. <laughs> fuck. Not the best move ever. Ow. Grab her. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, grab her, grab her. I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. <laughs> Don't struggle or you'll fall. Oh, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Come Not on, Lydia. Yet. Ow. <laughs> Little... Ah. Oh, fuck. She... She stole the... Ah. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Hmm. Well then. Time to save the city. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Well said, Harvey. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. 
No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> then I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. Where the grease, there are the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime, hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Okay, sorry for not speaking much, but I don't want to get into in the way of the voice acting because it's really good. I'm really liking the voice acting uh, they're doing. And even when I have to make a choice, I don't really have much time to speak Honest. about it or Mr. explain. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you, but we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference, and that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent, everyone. Right, right, of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe, uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes, and I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you, too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. As I was saying, I don't want huh, to get into the way. I doubted you, but that went better than expected. Yes. It is a night of ringing endorsements. I wonder how long this episode will be, to be honest. It's really oh, good. I'm hello. Oh, tell me this is Selena. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor. I'm eager to know you. Vicky Vale. I'm uh, no. not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? 
Well, you can ask hmm. me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You <laughs> should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day? Well, <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year-round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Yeah... it looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh... cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Hmm. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Hmm. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. But at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. Ugh. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. Hmm. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, <laughs> man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Hmm. You're a respectable man, I hear. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple what Mayor Hill has... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? This... Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. This is not looking good. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, 
Let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. What? Here, pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, <laughs> unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. You son of a... And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Son of a flying bitch. I guess there you have it. I think. Nope. I thought that was the end of the first chapter episode, but no, that was the end of the introduction. It's me. Apparently. And here we are in the bad cave. Episode 1. Realm of Shadows. Okay, sorry about that. I think I will close this episode here, uh, just because I've been running for quite a bit now. Sorry again for not speaking very much, uh, but the game itself does not really give me much room to to speak and to comment, much like um, Life is Strange. I really like the game and I hope that you will enjoy it you will enjoy my videos uh, if nothing just for the uh, just to see which decisions I make which uh, things I go for I have um, confronted Falcone um, quite harshly N not harshly but I didn't give in and he obviously didn't like it because I think that's what Batman would do, what Bruce Wayne would do, even if he's not in the suit. So let's see how that will play out. Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, share and subscribe. And I will see you very soon. Ciao!